district. Meng Wanzhou arrived at court today to hear the Crown's arguments in favor of extradition. Today, the court links, connects the dots between evidence and law and argument. Meng was arrested at Vancouver's airport in December 2018. She spent a week behind bars before being released on $10 million bail. Living under partial house arrest in a $14 million home, Meng has a curfew and is being tracked by a GPS ankle monitor and security guards. Her legal team maintains the arrest violated her rights and that she was used as a political pawn by then-President Donald Trump. But today, before a judge, the Crown argued this process has been fair and that there is evidence of fraud. It's not a trial. The bar for extradition is very low. The U.S. extradition request has worsened relations between Canada and China, which has repeatedly called for Meng's release. When Joe Biden was elected president, there was hope he would retract the extradition request, but he hasn't. Well, I think that the Americans are, well, clearly they're not keen to just drop it. Um, having uh, invested a fair effort into preparing the case, Adding to the complexity, China's espionage cases against Canadians Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig. We want our two Michaels back. It might be possible through negotiations between Washington and China to work out some kind of compromise arrangement, a plea deal perhaps. Meng's lawyers will begin their submissions on Friday. After that, the judge will either order her discharge or recommend that she be extradited to the United States to face trial. But that decision could still take months, and it ultimately rests in the hands of Canada's Justice Minister. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Vancouver.